to do an initial objective assessment for the hip joint. Um, so before we actually get into the assessment of the hip, uh, one of the first things we need to do, to do is to determine whether or not the patient's complaint is actually coming from their hip. So what that's going to involve is um, doing some ruling out. Um, so <clears throat> general rule of thumb, ruling out is performed uh, for the joint above and below the joint in question. Uh, it's two movements per joint. And for the hip joint, the, the, um, the joint above would be the lumbar spine, the joint below would be the knee. So let's see what that looks like. So I'm gonna have you stand sideways, don't mind. So in order to rule out the lumbar spine, what I'm gonna have you do is bend over and touch your toes. You can bend your knees a little bit if it's uncomfortable. Any pain in your low back here or your hip? No. Okay, can I add a little bit of extra pressure? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of extra over pressure into flexion. How's that, any pain? No. Okay, I'm gonna get you to stand up. So um, I'm gonna have you put two fists in your low back, and I'd like you to kind of try to arch your low back as much as you can. Any pain with that? Gonna add a little bit of extra pressure. All right, so I'm gonna add pressure into extension. Any pain there? Great, okay, so if you can stand up. Um, so the lumbar spine rolls out. So I'm gonna have you lie down on the table with your face, uh, face up, face up, please. Uh, for uh, I guess the purposes of the video today, um, I'm going to actually say that it is her left hip that is uh, the issue. So that's important because we have to choose the joints that are immediately above and below the side, the affected side. So we'll say uh, for today that is the, that her left side is the affected side. So now we need to actually rule out her knee. So in order to do that, we have to perform uh, active flexion with overpressure and active extension with overpressure. So what I'm gonna have you do with this side of your leg, I'm just gonna prop your leg up a little bit here. I want you to bring your heel, I'll slide your heel all the way to your butt, all the way on the table. Is there any pain with that? No. Nope. Okay, can I add a little bit of extra pressure here? So I'm adding some extra pressure into flexion. Any pain? Great. Okay, straighten your leg out. So now what I want you to do is to press the back of your knee into the table and sort of bring your toes to the ceiling. Okay, this is extension, any pain? Can I add a little bit of extra pressure? Okay, I'm gonna add some overpressure into extension. Any pain with that? Nope. Fantastic. So uh, the knee joint rules out. So at this point, we can safely assume that we do have a hip issue and we are going to be uh, evaluating the left hip. <clears throat> According to the principles of orthopedic assessment, uh, as you all know, we are required to evaluate the unaffected side first. So I would be doing a full assessment on the patient's right side before I would actually do the affected side, which is the left. For the purposes of this video, I'm only going to show you how to do the affected side. So first we're gonna start by doing active range of motion. And I'm going to ask my patient to go through the movements actively to see what she can accomplish on her own. So the movements of the hip are flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, internal and external rotation in no particular order. Um, I'm gonna sort of work in the order that works for me um, and it's not gonna be in that particular order. So uh, let's start with the first movement, which is flexion. So I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna sort of half position in here. So what I want you to do is to bring your knee all the way to your chest, okay? And as you're doing these movements, if anything is painful, please let me know. So this is flexion. Okay, great. I'm gonna straighten you out a little bit here. So from here, what I want you to do is to kind of bring your ankle in. This is external rotation, feels okay, lovely. Back to middle, go the other way, opposite. This is internal rotation, that's okay. Great, so I'm gonna lay you down flat. So what I'd like you to do with this leg is actually drag the leg across the table. So try to bring your leg out, slide it across the table as far as you can go, with your toes up. Good, and back. And that was a deduction. And for a deduction, I'm gonna drape this leg over the side. And what I'd like you to do, same thing, except slide your leg across the table in the other direction. Okay, great, any pain with that? All right, fabulous. Bring this back up. We have one movement left, that is extension. So I'm gonna have you go turn onto your tummy for me, please. Okay, so don't forget, when you turn over, the affected side ends up being on the other side of the table. Uh, so make sure that you're consistent with the same side. Uh, the last movement we have is extension. So what I'm gonna have you do 
is to try to raise your leg toward the ceiling um, as far as you can go. Okay, great, how's that feel? Good. Good, okay, drop your leg. Um, so active range of motion is now complete. At this point, um, I would be taking some measurements uh, with the goniometer. I'm not going to be doing that at this point in this video. Uh, we're just gonna be progressing straight into passive range of motion. The purpose of passive range of motion is to investigate the end feel of the joint. Um, and again, the same principles apply. You would do the unaffected side first, and then you would progress to the affected side. For the purposes of the video, again, I'm only gonna show you the affected side. So we'll start with extension since the patient is already um, tummy down, uh, lying in prone. So uh, I'm going to, so I'm, I'm gonna do all the movements for you. I just want you to relax, okay? So I'm gonna passively guide the hip into extension, and this is a tissue stretch and feel, okay? Onto your back again for me. Okay, so I'll come around to my affected side, and I'm gonna move you into flexion. From here, okay, I'm going to be performing passive internal rotation, tissue stretch and feel, external rotation, tissue stretch, okay, abduction, tissue stretch, and a deduction, going the other way, tissue stretch. Okay, so we can work that back up there. So at this point, we want to get an idea of the strength of the muscles that cross the hip joint. So we are going to be performing resisted range of motion. Again, on the unaffected side first, but I'll be showing you the affected side only. So let's start with flexion. Okay, so I want you to hold your leg here like this. I'm gonna put my hands here. What I want you to do is to try to bring your knee to your chest just like before, okay? So I'm gonna add some resistance, but don't let me move you. Go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Are you okay with that? Good, so that's strong and painless. Change my hand position. I want you to try to push into my hands this way. This would be resistant extension. Go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Are you okay with that? Great, that's strong and painless. From here, I want you to try to bring your ankle in against my resistance. So let's bend here. Go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Any pain? Great, strong and painless. And same thing, but I want you to do in the opposite direction. Okay, go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Any pain? No, nope. strong and painless. Now, with A, B, and A deduction, we have the option to test unilaterally or uh, simultaneous bilaterally, I'm gonna show you both. So if I wanted to do a unilateral test <clears throat> of abduction, I'm gonna have you lie on that side for me. Okay, so I'm just gonna raise your leg a little bit, hold it here. Okay, so go ahead and push, try to push up into my hand. Five, four, three, two, one. Any pain? Strong or painless. And now what I want you to do is to try to bring your leg down toward the other leg. Go ahead, five, four, three, two, one. Any pain? No. Strong and painless. So that is the unilateral assessment of A, B, and A deduction. I'm gonna show you the simultaneous bilateral assessment. So onto your back for me, if you don't mind. On your other back. On your oh, face, that's okay. All right, so simultaneous A, B deduction. What I want you to do is to try to bring your legs apart, okay? So push into my hands, go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Any pain? No. Strong and painless. Now what I want you to do for a deduction is to try to bring your ankles closer together. Okay, so go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Any pain? No. Strong and painless. So that is a simultaneous bilateral evaluation. And this completes the initial objective assessment for the hip joint.